Hello, this is Nick from OrganizerMains.com playing Reflexio. Uh, I was not supposed to do that. What a bad way to start this. Now I want to start at World 1, where I can learn about movement and collecting zippers for this ghost-looking thing that eats me and craps me out into the next level, which is this weird-looking croissant. Now, you have to collect all the zippers in order to get to the ghost. Or the ghost opens his mouth once you collect the zippers. I'm not really sure how that works out. But it does. Now, this is what's cool about Reflexio. You can do this. Oh! And also, this. Oh! And... And yes, also this. Oh! Alright, I'm just gonna reflect that, and I'm gonna reflect this. Come on, this game is too easy! Whoa, just started doing the moonwalk there. That is a glitch. I think that that's what they call it in the professional business world. Just like that, the ghost eats me. I don't like how each time you have to reflect it loads that tiny second. I know it's not like makes the game horrible or anything, but it's just kind of an annoyance. But what's not an annoyance? The cute little toasters in the background. Aren't they nice? Alright, this one you gotta keep moving like that. Ah! That was a glitch! The game does have some glitches to it. Though this was originally a Kickstarter uh, campaign where you had to donate. I think they weren't they weren't asking that much for the, to make this game. So I think they they already had the game kind of made, but they wanted to make it a little better. But I donated to it. I was one of the backers. I helped this game see the light. The light. Now I donated six dollars, but it's now five dollars on Desera. But the people that made this game knew that it was unfair for the people that paid six dollars that it's now five dollars so oh, I needed to be up there so they let me have another copy of their game from their website if I didn't want to use Desera which was pretty nice of them but I prefer using this program because it keeps all my games organized and what's not like the, what's not to like about that Oh, sometimes he doesn't jump when you're pressing the jump button. You kind of just have to move around until he does. But now you can move blocks around. How about that? They seem happy. Everyone's happy except for my guy. I can't even see a mouth on him. I just see a, that pencil, which I don't know why there's a pencil in this game. I am the smartest man alive! Uh oh. I just unlocked an achievement. Carpal Tunnel? Alright! I don't even know what that is. Well, I know what Carpal Tunnel is, but I don't know what the achievement's for. And that's why they call me the smartest man alive! Just like that. These are the levels that I kind of hate. <laughs> Not this one, but there's one later on. Oh, I need to get the zipper first. There's one later on where it's just, there's blocks everywhere, and there's really, there's kind of a pattern to them. But every time I reflect, a block lands on me and kills me. Now, I don't think I've, I've died yet, but... If that ha if you reflect where a block is gonna be, you're going to die. 
So you got, in the later levels like this one, you gotta plan it out where it's gonna be. Switching around. Switching around. Oops. No, I don't want that. I want this. So this game's actually pretty fun. Once you uh, get past the first easy levels, it, it, kind of, it starts getting more difficult. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Ah! So, there's a... Uh, I think I got the world... F no, I didn't get the world 5 with you. I got to world... 4? <laughs> Yeah, world four out of seven worlds, so I just played half the game for you. Now it's your turn to play the other half. Do something for yourself and get Reflexio. It's only $5. It's not a bad game. It's a pretty awesome game, in fact. Oh, it's not a pencil, it's an umbrella. The mouse guy's holding an umbrella, but in the game, he's it's a yellow-looking pencil. I don't... I don't care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, just go out and get Reflexio. It's only $5. You're helping out an indie company. What's not to like about that? Alright, take care everybody. This is Nick from OrganizerMains.com.